my channel how are you welcome to Z study hub your home for educational content and self-improvement today i'm going to be talking to you about something i have been doing in the last three years or so and it has given me incredible outcomes like the the, the results i have seen have been phenomenal and that is moving in silence so in this video i'm going to be telling you first what moving in silence is Secondly, why you should move in silence and most importantly, how you can make moving in silence your little superpower and use it to your advantage. So if you're new here, my name is Z and I'm your girl on this channel. So if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button in order to see a lot of the useful videos I'll be bringing to you. What do I mean by moving in silence? Moving in silence basically means that if you're doing something, you zip your mouth. Don't tell anyone about it. Nobody at all. And that is if you have a goal, especially if it's a big goal, I'm not just talking about very small things you need to do, but major goals that mean a lot to you, you just go hard, work towards it and don't tell anyone at all. I will be telling you why you should do this shortly, but this is basically you just going on and doing it working towards that goal without telling people around you you don't tell your mother you don't tell your father you don't tell anyone however there's a caveat the only person or people you tell about whatever you're working on are people that have something to do with that goal so if you um, are working towards uh, for instance when i was working on my scholarship no one knew in my family that i was working on a scholarship no one at all no one nada um nobody knew so i just went on it none of my friends knew i was working on a scholarship the only time the only friend that knew i was applying for a scholarship from the onset was the friend who introduced me to that scholarship and helped me um apply or basically helped to read through my essays and gave me some tips the other people were my referees so all that i'm saying is that moving in silence is just about you going ahead to achieve your dream, to achieve the goals, to do the work and not tell anyone about it. Now, let's move to the second part of it. Why is it important for you to move in silence? I remember talking about moving in silence on Instagram and someone said that uh, something along the lines of, oh, I need my mom's prayer, so if I'm doing something, I have to tell her. If that is what works for you, fine. However, I have found that moving in silence is big. Why should you move in silence? I think this is what you really are probably thinking about. Why do I even have to bother moving in silence? Why is it a big thing? Why is he even making a video talking about it? You know, I need my mom's prayers or I need people's advice. I need opinions. So why do I have to go on this journey alone? Now, I'm just going to give you some few reasons why you should move in silence. First of all, it helps to sift out negative energy or opinions so I am not talking about it from the a superstitious angle or a spiritual angle no I'm just talking about it from the angle of how you feel about it and what people would tell you when you tell them about your goals so there are times that when you tell people oh, I'm probably um, trying to get a new job or I'm starting a business um, and these are people who have absolutely nothing to do with it or um, apply for a scholarship or I want to study abroad I want to do this Sometimes people would discourage you and it's sometimes just out of a good place. They, they are genuinely thinking they're helping you, but it is discouraging. But the second reason is that it prevents you from losing motivation. Just imagine having a bucket of water that's full to the brim. And if there's a hole in it and then the water keeps seeping out or keeps dropping, then you begin to lose some of the water and that is how motivation works so sometimes when you tell people you're likely to lose motivation at least that is how it works for me so if i have something boiling inside me i want to make it work and but when i tell people i begin to lose uh, motivation so it, if you want to keep your motivation if you want to keep being inspired if you want to keep working on it just make sure that you move in silence even the negative opinions can make you lose motivation and you don't want to lose motivation. I must emphasize that I'm talking about big goals and not small everyday goals. If you're moving in silence, it, it's basically as if you and God have this kind of agreement or you and God have this little thing you're working on and it just feels really nice and natural to know that you are the only one who can depend on you to work on it and you don't need external validation. And I think this is quite straightforward. It doesn't need a, a lot of explanation because it's just 
something that you feel more of and not something that is really tangible the third reason you should move in silence is that it helps you to manage expectations so personally i really do not like it when i'm working on something and then people keep asking me how is it going how is it going how is it going and in some cases when you're working on a big goal people around you or your family and friends are definitely wishing for the best hoping for the best and hoping that it works out and i find that to be a lot of pressure and i don't want that pressure <laughs> you know i'm under pressure myself and i don't want someone else having expectations and giving me a lot more pressure let's say you're applying for a scholarship and as you know scholarships are competitive so if you tell your parents or your friends that you oh, have applied for a scholarship and then you're interviewed oh yeah i got interviewed for, for for the scholarship and then after the interview you don't get it you're not just disappointed you've also probably made other people disappointed and i feel like i don't want to be responsible for other people's emotions in that way because sometimes people can really hope and wish for the best for you and want things to work out so if you don't tell every anyone anything or if you don't tell some people you manage expectations trust me you'll be glad you did manage expectations by moving in silence oh there are so many benefits to moving in silence and i'm going to share the next one with you it helps you to make mistakes and then go on your journey and then figure things out without feeling any kind of pressure so when you're moving in silence you have an opportunity you have room to try you have room to make errors you have room to grow by yourself you have room to just feel like the world's all yours i can explore this i can explore that i can try this i can try that without any kind of external pressure so if you're moving in silence especially if it's something you haven't worked on before or it's something that you really want to work out you want to be sure that you not telling people and when you do that you have room to make mistakes no one expects you to be perfect no one is marking anything no one is asking you for updates no one is looking at you disappointed you are just working and then it helps you be yourself make mistakes learn from your mistakes and then make progress from there the final reason you should move in silence is probably the most beautiful part of moving in silence and that is the excitement that comes with breaking the news because you haven't told anyone what you're working on because you have been moving in silence everyone that loves you is going to be pleasantly surprised by your achievements and that is one beautiful thing about moving in silence sometimes the expectations of what people would say or what people would feel after you've told them the good news is something that drives you to work harder while you're moving in silence so these are the reasons you should move in silence now i'm going to be telling you how to do it i must say moving in silence when it comes to the actionable part of it is just simple and that is to do it you just have to be quiet shut up be silent don't tell anyone about these things when you're working on them however when you're quiet i'm not saying just not ask for help if you need someone to help you ask them and that is why i said at the beginning that you can only tell people who have something to do with that goal so in order to move in silence don't tell anyone about what you're working on but then do your research make sure you research learn um find information from various sources if there are people who can give you the information contact them search the internet um do all of your research do your work because sometimes uh, one thing i want to chip in here is that sometimes we do realize that the people that we tell our dreams really have nothing to do with them so why are you telling them your dreams why are you telling them your goals they won't help you in any way if they're going to give you advice it might not necessarily contribute significantly and otherwise contact the people who would give you valuable insight and valuable advice so how to move in silence just be quiet don't tell anyone about your goals just go ahead keep hustling keep striking keep doing the work do the research implement it and then make your move and then move forward so the last thing i'm going to say is that just like in real life you would create boundaries create boundaries for your goals create boundaries that would help you achieve your goals and that is what moving silence is all about i'm going to end by saying that i hope that you find this useful 
do this if it works for you try it and i promise you in the next year in the next six months you would be glad that you did just recently someone sent me um a message about how he got a scholarship one of the scholarships that i show on my channel and then he also talked about how my video on moving in silence was really useful to him and i think it's really important that you focus focus on the goal you don't have to go about telling everyone what you're working on unless they have something to do with the goal i hope this has been useful if this has been useful to you kindly share it with someone that you know would also find it useful i hope that you love this video to see a lot more of my videos make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever i post a new video follow me on instagram at z study hub and let's keep the conversation going i wish you the very best lots of love bye